okay yeah. so mainly if we talk about calibration mm. calibration is nothing but which we use okay to compare and uh, adjust employee talent and their performance rating okay mm. like if you want to compare any two employees or maybe multiple workers okay like as we were discussing earlier like suppose we have to employees to whom you want to promote maybe for any one of the roles that is getting vacated because someone is getting promoted so for an example if i talk about talent calibration suppose uh, we place two employees in a matrix in a rating matrix where we can rate them okay so the one that i'm telling you like uh, if there are two employees and if we uh, someone is getting promoted or maybe some role is getting vacated because someone resigned okay and someone should be filling it mm-hmm. for an example like if you are working in a team of five members okay there will be a lead uh, okay there will be a manager and there will be employees okay for an example if the lead is uh, leaving or going or leave a uh, team lead is getting promoted to manager and or else a uh, team lead is has resigned okay so there are multiple scenarios either we can hire some other team lead okay mm-hmm. or we can see like the employees that we have okay is there a scenario that they can be uh, promoted to a team lead role okay or maybe the team lead is getting promoted to a manager level role so is there a scenario where any one of them can get promoted okay but on what basis we can promote them okay uh, that is nothing but success and planning success and planning uh, is nothing but from the word only it is defined success and planning success and means if successor of any specific role okay mm-hmm. and the other one is employee development okay for an example i ran a report okay where i found that there are few employees okay who are not up to the mark so we can uh, plan something okay but to uh, find the employees like who are doing what what is the performance of the individual employees okay first of all we have to know that okay so in this two scenarios we use that okay Mm-hmm. so what mainly this performance calibration does so performance cal- uh, performance calibration will mainly distribute employees across a rating scale okay mm-hmm. because there might be a different different rating okay because you can say we create different different roles or we assign different different development plans which they go through so there are multiple team uh, thing that we define at a employee level okay so mainly okay. what this calibration does is it distributes various employees okay on the rating scale band okay and it defines a single rating combining all of the ratings that they have okay from the performance mm-hmm. review that they might have received okay and from that it defines like which employee is best okay mainly this is what is calibration okay so i will just show you one thing like if we are going to launch any calibration from here you will have a better picture see so launch calibration so for an example you are working in the sales department or any of the department okay maybe uh, the vice president is moving out of the company or vice president of the sales or maybe anyone at the top level mm-hmm. okay because if normal workers leave the company we don't do uh, success and planning for those workers okay mainly someone who is at the high level role only for them the success and planning comes into picture but for the normal workers the uh employee development comes into picture so we can run in both the scenarios okay either for a success and planning or maybe for the employee development okay mm-hmm. so for an example this 
calibration can run at the top level organization okay mainly we prefer the top level organization top level organization here is nothing but uh, you might have seen so many organizations okay like in sales department we have different different part okay in the sales we have just uh, like normal sales person okay uh, like let me show you the tenant only like for an example uh, in the it department okay we have we will have an audit department uh, we will have an admin department uh, we will have a normal operations department okay we have we will have a network department so like that there will be various various departments that we create okay so for an example okay uh we were talking about calibration i hope you got what is calibration and why we use it for success in planning and employee development correct mm -hmm. okay and i was just showing the supervisory organization okay so like uh, if we talk about organization there are so many organizations that we create at client level Mm -hmm. okay. Just in the meantime, I was checking what type of organizations do we have. So, all the payroll yes. companies are listed into the organizations list. Any guns and I'm talking about. I mean, during during the time. I mean, meanwhile, when you were connecting game, I just checked that my side in our tenant. Uh, mm -hmm. what exactly we are maintaining in terms of the organizations. Okay. So, so all payroll, um, payroll, all, all, all different uh, offices payrolls are listed as you know organizations in Egon's and them. Okay. So that's that's all important. different payrolls are listed as uh, custom organizations. For example, Mostly. there is an office in. I mean, uh, I'm from KCI, right? Uh, Big mm -hmm. So there is a KCI payroll. That mm -hmm. is one custom organization. So see, custom organization and normal organization is a different thing. Okay. Okay. So if okay. I talk so... about an, if I talk about an organization, custom organization, we create. So for an example, if there is a specific project, uh -huh. okay. Uh, for that, I want to create a separate organization. Okay, and that's now we really create a custom organization. Okay. Oh, okay. Where is the normal organization that I am talking about? If in your tenant, uh, you open the profile of maybe any manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's a full time over there? If you open a profile, I'll just give an example. Like for an example, Logan. Logan McLean. If you go to her profile, see, you can see a supervisory organization. This is what I'm referring to. Okay. If you click here, so this is the company name, Global Modern Services. Mm -hmm. Okay. And within that, there are so many subordinate. This subordinate means nothing but sub organization, you can say. Okay. okay. So 
I am talking about all that. Yes, if we talk about the custom organization that you referred, we can consider that as well when we are creating the calibration. It's not only limited to this organization. We can do that for the custom organization as well that you are referring to. Mm -hmm. Okay. For an example purpose, I gave you this scenario. Okay. But for an example, as you mentioned that you belong to one of the custom organization that is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the company or the manager of that specific custom organization want to review, okay, the performance or maybe uh, uh, he want to check like whichever employee is there in that custom organization, how their performance is. In that scenario, they can run a custom organization, okay, and they can check like which all our employee uh, are doing better because we have we can create different different ratings, correct, and we can see that. Did you get me? Yeah. So that is yeah. how mainly it works. I will show you like uh, how that will work. Okay. Like whenever you are going to create any custom organization. Okay. So for custom organization, how you can run. Okay. So mainly what you have to do is this. There will be a report that will be created. Okay. From there, you'll be able to see. Okay. There you can define like for which organization you want to check whether it's a custom organization or whether it's a any other supervisor a supervisory organization that you want to consider. Okay. Okay. So in this launch calibration, I will show you here only whenever you are going to launch the calibration. Mm -hmm. In the top level organization, you will see, be able to see here. The, can you see here all custom organization by type? So this is what you are referring yeah. to. And this is what I was explaining you. So it's it's not like uh, this is uh, this calibration is limited to any uh, supervisory organization. It is for all the organization. For an example, here you can see the one that I was mentioning is supervisory organization. If I want to select any specific supervisory organization that I have in my company, okay, maybe at the executive level or maybe any at a uh, any other level, maybe for any one specific organization, maybe HR department or maybe IT department or sales department or maybe a finance department, any department. Okay. Yeah. That is one. And the second one is supervisory organization by manager. For an example, uh, every uh, uh, department has a manager. Okay. For an example, if I want to check uh, the performance Okay, calibrate the performance for any specific manager. Okay, like there is a manager of the HR department who has around four or five members of a team, or maybe in, in HR, we can have a recruiting uh, department. Okay, so for that one, if I want to check, so I can just normally select that manager and his specific supervisory organization, and I can run this calibration. Apart from that, you can see the third one, supervisory organization by location. For an example, if I want to uh, check the performance of an employee, maybe specific to India or maybe specific yeah. to any specific location, mm -hmm. okay, maybe for New York or maybe for California, okay, I can do that. And the last one is nothing but the all custom organization, okay. So as you mentioned, like there might be a custom organization for which specifically I want to check. So we'll select that one. Okay. Okay, right. Oh, I'm just going to select any of the supervisory organization that is there. For an example, global. Randomly we're selecting any of the supervisory organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. So see, uh, here there would be a calibration program that we have to create. Okay. Okay. That I will show you like how to. And one more thing that I want to highlight is. If we are running the calibration event, 
okay so for workers only one calibration event can be run it's not like that at the same time we can run multiple okay so that is the restriction that we have for an example if i am running a calibration event one of the calibration event okay for number of workers so i cannot do at a time to, uh, two different different calibrations okay if we do that we will get an error because there would be a uh, data discrepancy that will be popping up and that will not be possible okay and one thing you can see here if i have selected this global modern services okay it is asking me do you want to include the subordinate organization as well means if there is any subordinate of that specific organization so whether you want to include it or not we have to highlight that so that will be based upon a requirement for example i selected any of the calibration event okay performance review calibration so what will happen is all the managers okay who will be there okay they will get a notification okay okay just one question manage. here yeah as you said that uh, you, i mean we can run one uh, or we can uh, uh, we can launch or we can run uh, one single calibration for any specific set of people right yes at a time so yes uh is it like for diff, uh, for example uh, let's let's take it in uh, a bundle of 10 people for for those 10 people i'm uh, uh, launching a collaboration correct mm -hmm. and for there are other uh, 15 people which are i mean not same but different from those 10 so for those 15 i'm uh, launching in another different collaboration so can it be the case or is it like at one point of time in that uh, tenant you you just can run one single irrespective of uh, whatever set of people we are using see right now you saw i have selected this calibration program huh. okay so in this calibration program we define so for an example i have selected this organization okay right. but in the calibration program we have to define multiple things okay that i will show you and you will be able to understand okay okay so here just for a reference okay like which all workers okay will be eligible for this specific calibration program that also we have to define for an example in one supervisory organization i don't want to uh calibrate for each and every one maybe i want to just calibrate uh for people who are managers okay maybe who are not managers only maybe a individual contractor okay mm -hmm. maybe a normal employee okay or maybe vice presidents directors okay so we have to create a rule over there okay which we do okay in this calibration review okay? okay so and as you mentioned like for an example if we are doing the same thing okay if we are running a mul multiple event at a time calibration event okay that will give you an error or maybe that will the result that you will get will not be correct so ideally what workday says is the best practices we run one event at a time once that is completed we can run another one or else the results that we get might not be correct because okay. there will be an interlink okay for the same worker so that is the reason why it is advised like not to run that the workers uh, should be part of only one of the calibration event at one time it should not be like for one worker i am running different different calibration event at the same time so that will 
not be possible. If in case that works, the results or the output that we will get, either the, it will have an error or the results will not be accurate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me select one custom organization as you were mentioning about it. Now what I will do is I will create a calibration program and I will show you what all the options. See, if you can see here, I am selecting random organizations, okay, which is there in the tenant, okay? okay. Once you select any organization, okay, you can see the workers that is there for which we are going to run the calibration. Right now, we have selected one random one, okay? As there are so many here, I'm not sure. But when you will be selecting in your tenant, you will have the real-time beta. Okay, because in that one, that only specific to your employee, uh, your company is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have an option to copy calibration program or create a calibration program. Right now, I'm just going to create a calibration program. Okay. We have to give the program name. Okay. After that, you can see the due date. Okay. By when we want this to get executed. And this is nothing but N box. This is what? This is nothing but the report at which level we want to create. Like, as I mentioned you right now, like whenever we are going to run any calibration, okay there will be different different uh goals or different different criteria by which we want to run that calibration okay so mainly how we define that that we do based on the inbox report that we have okay here you can see so this is by which we do i will show you like how to create this okay this is just for your reference now but I will show you like how to create an inbox report. Okay. For an example, if I select a random one, okay. I will open this. Inbox shell limit. So, as you can see here, okay. So, here we have only one employee. Okay, this, as it is clearly mentioned here, Workday populates the unbox cell limit value indicated on the calibration program. You can change the unbox cell limit to optimize performance. So for an example, the higher the cell limit will be, the performance will be less. Okay, so it's better to keep it because whenever we are going to create any cell limit uh, and box, okay, we will be having an idea like how many inbox limit will can be there. Not exactly, but a specific range will be, it will be in hundred or maybe it will be in thousand, something like that. Okay. Uh -huh. From there we can check uh, like how we can do this. Okay. If you want to hide this, some review, okay, that uh, will be there. We can hide it. That will depend upon the requirement. After that, to whom this applies? Like as I was mentioning you. Okay. So here, why you are getting only one? When I went to this applies to, I should have been getting multiple options. But I am getting only one option here, which is nothing but director level. So see, as I have told you, I have selected a custom organization, okay, mm -hmm. which had only one employee. Hmm. Okay, and that employee uh, level is director level. 
management level okay if for an example as i have told you earlier like the one that we are selecting okay so we are selecting randomly we don't know exactly what is the data or how many workers are there in that mm -hmm. okay so if in case if i am selecting uh, or, uh maybe a custom organization like for an example if i am going to select your custom organization which you are so there will mm -hmm. be there will be at least uh 10 plus workers and 10 yeah, plus yeah. workers will be at a different different management level mm -hmm. okay so you will be getting all the levels that is there and you have to select here for which category of people you want to run this calibration okay, okay. Right. so you have to select there as of that's what there was only one employee that is the reason why you are getting only one level okay mm -hmm. unplotted help help text if in case uh, for an example if help text is nothing but if you want to uh, text anything help text so creating a text message this box is nothing but if you want to highlight any text message okay to the one actually who will be uh, going through this process okay if you want yeah. to highlight like what they have to do anything specifically you can highlight this if in case there is nothing like that uh we are not supposed to do uh text in it uh maintain the help text here okay so in many uh places like in business process also you will have this help text option like if in case any business process is run okay for an yeah. example the process is completed i just want to uh like for an example i can give you benefits okay in the benefits i want them to select any specific dependent okay if they are selecting a dependent i want to give them a message like if uh, their dependent age is above 26 okay if the son age becomes more than 26 they will not be eligible okay so if i want to highlight anything i can just write in the help text message and they will go through that so at least they will get an idea okay so what they are willing to okay mm -hmm. so this was about this okay allow update of access potential during calibration this is nothing but calibration can have multiple steps okay that we can maintain okay in the business process if you want to update the one to whom this calibration event is applied okay at each and every step so you can just click on this check box and what will happen is an update will be sent to the respective managers at each and every step whenever it is getting completed or maybe in progress whatever the status will be that means every time whenever anyone will be updating them. whenever there would be any changes mm. okay there will be an update that will be populating okay okay and uh, how to decide uh, who uh, who will be the recipient so in the business process i have already shown you okay how things goes to which person respectively okay all right okay from there it will be defined okay in a separate window could you please open that business process i'm sorry i am repeating um, so see as of now i'm just showing you okay i will create here the inbox report as well for you like i'm just giving you an overview like how this goes okay after okay. this what i am going to do is see right now i have just shown you this report okay i have mm -hmm. not explained you in detail okay so what i will do is i will be creating a report as well this is the matrix report that you can see okay, okay. so like and box like how we can create an and box okay what are the fields that we select here in the filter you can see like which specific organization or which specific type of employee we are selecting okay yeah. who all can have access to this okay yeah, yeah. so i will be creating this report and box report okay 
after that you can see what are the fields that they are considering okay this one that they have created i will create a separate one where i will be highlighting multiple not one okay so today i am just because this calibration is a big topic so i will not be covering it in one day okay i am okay. just giving an overview today and tomorrow what i will do the first thing is i will create this inbox report okay because in this calibration event you have just selected this calibration but the main thing that works in uh, the calibration launch is nothing but this inbox this is the main thing okay mm -hmm. there might be a scenario like uh, if anything is not working properly because here here mainly in calibration what we are doing okay we are trying to compare uh, calibrate different employees okay based on the different different matrix rating that they are going to get from their managers okay okay so here the main thing that we have to understand is this calibrate uh, this inbox report and this as i have already shown you a report in the past okay like how we create a custom report so here inbox is nothing but creating a custom report okay based on so he, this will not be a normal report this will be a matrix report matrix report is nothing but in which we see the data in a matrix form okay yeah. like what yeah. are the different different fields are there okay because in this calibration event we will be selecting various performance uh, type on which we want to create this calibration okay right okay. now here if you see in this one okay so they have just selected one okay i might not be able to run the report that i will be able to run the report but i might not be having all this option but still what i will do is i will create a custom report where i will show you the different different fields that on on which we can analyze because the inbox report that will be there okay or that, that might be created in your company okay that will not have one single fee and maximum problems or maximum issues that you might come across or maybe the main thing that you want to know is related to calibration and specifically related to this report okay so we will go in detail about this one by one like what specifically here is this creating calibration can be done normally this is not a big deal but the main thing is that report that will be creating here you can see the options if you click on each and every options you will be able to understand okay but mm -hmm. the custom report that we will be creating okay mm -hmm. there are very minute minute things that we have to understand like why we are selecting what and what impact that is going to have in this calibration launch that we will be doing okay, okay. because see from where we got this ca create calibration we got it from launch okay right. there we had an, there we had an option of choosing any of the calibration event okay so initially i have just shown you like there was a calibration which we selected but when we create like what are the options that comes in okay okay restrict organization level view if you want to restrict the organization level okay who all can see and everything okay right. so you can highlight this but mainly we do not restrict this okay so if there is no such restriction you can just leave it blank uh, or you can just mention it as zero auto complete first participant auto complete is nothing but there might be so many workers if i want to check okay if my calibration event is working in the right way or not so i can do one thing i can just try to calib uh, try to calibrate the only first employee that i might have and based on that i can see okay if everything is working perfectly or not okay okay and talking about the next one select validation for a unplotted worker okay so for an example if for an example here 
so see main thing if you talk about all these things see you, you will a specific line is highlighted over here okay from where you can see it and you can understand okay like here it is mentioned when well, validation for unplotted worker is selected okay yeah. users will receive an error or warning if any workers are unplotted based on the restrict organization level view population size okay maybe if in case we are going to restrict okay this so for an example i have restricted to four few workers okay one second let me we go there okay so this two options that you can see select validation for unplotted worker and select validation for target percentage population there might be different different meaning of an unplotted worker okay in the if you talk about normal if you talk about normal unplotted worker as nothing but someone who doesn't get paid but here that is not the scenario the here this is related to restrict organization level view okay that is the reason why we are putting it as zero, zero. because as you can yeah. see yeah because if we restrict this to any specific view okay yeah. what will happen yeah. is they will not be uh, categorized in this one okay and in that yeah. scenario we have we if we want to check if we are validating okay for those workers then it can give us a warning or an error or none of the above so that is the reason why you have seen like when we were creating we had three option okay one mm -hmm. was warning one was mm -hmm. error one was none of the above okay so usually mm -hmm. in the because see if in the tenant if we are configuring anything okay that is completely related to the standard worker practice okay okay and for an example here you can see users will receive an error or warning if any workers are unplotted based on the restrict organization level view operation size so if there is any restriction at the organization level mm -hmm. okay and if here zero means no one means yes you can assume in that way okay and if in case it is one so if there would be any such worker and if we want to highlight that maybe as a error or a warning like you might have seen whenever we are making any changes okay and in that in and in that scenario worker okay which they do not want to use uh, which is like as i was mentioning like if we are running any task okay so if we can see there is an alert sign when it comes up when we submit it especially in case of maybe uh, if we have if we made any changes in the security okay there is an alert that pop up okay so mm -hmm. it is pretty much safe okay if we want to give such a warning sign okay we can select that or maybe error sign like for an example if we do not want uh, anything to be executed okay the validation mm -hmm. we want for the unplotted worker uh, to give it as an error okay we can select that normally we choose none of the above option okay talking about the next one uh, select validation for target percentage population so here it, if we are having any validation uh, any scenario 
okay here validation is nothing but we will in the inbox report that we will be creating okay we will be specifying okay different different performance review okay based on different different criteria that we have like for an example one will be excellent or very good good on that basis mm. there can be different different one okay so if we are while validating if we are targeting any specific uh, population okay and for that if we want to validate okay mm. at that scenario if we want to give because see, if we are going for because mainly when we create any calibration we want to consider all the employees that is there based on their management level as you saw here there was a director level option okay so in that way if in case as you can see the director level that i was mentioning it was not mm -hmm. mandatory to select i can just leave that as a blank but still what it will do is it will select all the employees that will be there but if in case if i want to select any specific category of employee maybe managers or maybe director level or maybe vice president level in that mm -hmm. scenario we can select that okay. okay so in the same way this is the validation as it has already written when validation for target percentage population is selected okay user will receive an error or warning if any target population are not met in each box you can see like we will when we will be creating the inbox report okay there will be multiple uh, scenarios that will be considered okay for an example the supervisory organization that we selected for an example if they do not fall for any one of that one okay in that scenario what uh, validation we want to put maybe an error or maybe a warning or maybe none of the above okay yeah. so we can select that Okay. Now coming to this calibration value mapping. So see, what is the meaning of default axis? So for an example, in mathematics, you might have learned x y axis. We have x y z axis. Yeah. Okay. So what mainly the calibration does? So there is an x quadrant, x y quadrant, x x quadrant. So like that, we have different different quadrants. Okay. So okay. an employee can fall at any quadrant that we have okay mm -hmm. so if we want to spec select any specific one okay but that because we don't know where an employee can fall correct he can be because for an example there are four criteria okay so in the graph the employee can fall at any place okay that is the reason why we are putting here the row as a default axis it can be at any level okay did you get this okay why we are select i just give you an example from the mathematical perspective because see if we have a specific value okay about which we don't know right now so where it can fall hmm. okay right. if it is minus 3 by 2 it will be in different axis if it is 2 by 4 it will be at a different axis if it is minus 5 minus 6 it will be in a different axis okay so that is how because for an example an employee can have different different uh, values maybe he can have satisfactory for one uh, maybe extraordinary for one maybe excellent for a different one maybe very bad for one so based on all that when the calibration one run so based on the percentage that we have because each and every one will have a different different percentage weightage okay yeah. so based on calibrating all the options that we have when the outcome will come he can be at any level he can be at a very good okay he can be a good he can be an excellent okay i am talking in that perspective okay so that is the reason why it has selected here default axis okay column level so this is nothing but maybe they have all this label that they have created like unsatisfactory needs improvement meets exceeds or outstanding okay so these are the different different that they have created when we will be creating the inbox report we will be using all the options okay in the report in the matrix report that we will be creating